I want to create this table of contents for this healthy recipe guide, but just like my cooking, creating and updating a table of contents in Word doesn't always go smoothly. So in this video, we're going to work through all of the steps carefully to create an error-free table of contents. Let's see how it goes. Welcome Office Professionals. Today we're going to learn how to create, edit, and update a table of contents in Microsoft Word. You'll notice when you start out, you can't immediately put a table of contents in your Word document. So if I tried it and went to References tab, uh, tried to put in our pre-designed table of contents, something like this would pop up. That's because we haven't told Microsoft Word where the most important parts of our document are. So to do that, we have to add some heading styles to the major headings in our document or the major sections in our document. And you could do that in the Home tab in the Styles group. It's got a Styles drop arrow. Uh, this opens up the Styles gallery and we have to add what our main headings are or section headings would be heading one and then subheadings of that would be heading two and then even further on would be uh, heading three. And then they'll pop up in our table of contents if we just you know tell Microsoft Word exactly where these important parts of our document are. So, I'm creating a recipe guide, so the first part is going to be the first recipe, which is my dumplings recipe. But before I do that, I want to add a little bit of style because we've got a lot of green style in the default. My theme is the facet theme, so if you're looking at yours, you might have a kind, of, kind of like a blue color, but you can change that. So if, instead of applying it, I haven't clicked on this yet, I'm still kind of in the preview of the headings style, I can right click on this and then modify it. So if you want to add a little bit of style, make your document stand out a little bit more. I suggest changing the heading one style and uh, just, you don't have to make too many changes, just some little things. So I wanna maybe mix up some green and red colors in here. So maybe I want my heading ones to be like in dark red here. And uh, I'll make them a little bit bigger because 16 seems a little, little bit small for a major heading. That's 24 points and then press okay. Now I wanna start applying it. So I've just modified the heading. I haven't added it yet, but to add it, I'll go back to this styles group again at heading one, it's a lot bigger. And I kind of like the style of that. So dark red for heading one, and maybe we'll just keep it uh, the default style for heading two. So within that major heading, I've got subheadings, uh, different parts of the foods that I want to make in this recipe. So like the ingredients, the preparation, the nutritional facts, those will all be uh, heading two. So I'll start adding that heading two style to those sub parts of this. So like the preparation, that would also be heading two. And this way, I'm just telling Microsoft Word what are the kind of main parts of our document, what are the secondary main parts of our document, and maybe the third most important things on our document. Another heading two, but maybe not all of these are worthy of a heading two. So something like vitamins and minerals, we'll just keep that to heading three. There. So it's not a it's not a big deal in our document until we get to the next part, which is the next heading one. So this is our next major heading, and I'll just add. Heading one style again. I'll just keep repeating that same step for the next three recipes. We can now insert a table of contents now that we've told Microsoft Word where the most important parts of our document are and where the different sections are. So to get started with adding a table of contents, you can add it anywhere. I'll just, you can put in your insertion point anywhere in your document and add a table of contents. But what most people do is they'll create like a cover page or a uplink page at the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm at the top of my document and I'm gonna insert so go to the insert tab and then just kind of a blank page. And uh, maybe if your table of contents is really big, I would suggest do that, create it on a blank page. So then I can put the insertion point at the top of this blank page and then I'll click on the references tab. Now you can add in a, a predefined table of contents like this, or you can do a custom one if you wanna have a little bit more control. Uh, but I think I like this one, the one that's table of contents here, and it's sort of off to the left. So I'll pick number two, the predefined. And here's our table of contents. So you can see we've got um, the main title here, the heading ones here, heading two, like the parts of the recipe that we care about, the ingredients, preparation, final steps, and things like that. So now if I had a longer document, this is only like eight pages, but can you imagine if it went on like 300 pages, how many sections you would have for that? So you might just want to edit this table so that only the main headings show up on it. And that's what we're gonna do here. So we just wanna quickly get to the part where the sections are. So for the different foods, the dumplings, Italian meatloaf, the shrimp, pomodoro, and the peanut butter noodles, we just quickly wanna go there. We don't care about the other headings. So heading two, we don't wanna see heading three, but we just wanna see where the heading ones are, especially if you had a long document. So to do that, I'll just 
click somewhere inside of our table of contents, click the table of contents drop arrow, and then we'll click the custom table of contents. That's going to allow us to edit this a little bit further. And you see this table of contents dialog box pop up. And from there, we can go down to this part here. This is a game changer. I like this option right here, show levels. We have three levels, and maybe I just want to show that first heading. So I can just turn that to one. That's only going to show our heading one figures. So now when we go to OK, and then, yes, say press OK to replace this table of documents. So click on that. Then it's only going to show us the major sections of our document. So for a, a very long document with lots of sections, that's probably a, a great option for you. Now, I've also added in my turkey burger recipe, but I did it after we created our table of contents. So now I have to update the table of contents to include this new recipe that I've got in there. So to get back to the table of contents quickly, I can just press Control Home and then it pushes it back to the top of our document. And then from here, now that I've got our table of contents selected, I can click Update Table. And you can update page numbers only, but it's probably better if you click Update Entire Table and then press OK. And then you can see the, the turkey burger pops up in within our table of contents. Now that we've got a perfectly formatted table of contents and a perfectly cooked Italian meatloaf, there's just something missing. We didn't really go over how to create multi-level lists like this throughout your document. So if you want to see how to create that and the challenges that come along with these lists and how to solve them, you have to check out this video on your screen. Click on that for how to master lists in your documents, and I'll see you over there.